welcome to the universe of energy. How are you? No need to answer. You know, you're probably surprised to see me here, aren't you? But then there's probably a lot of places you'd be surprised to see me when you think about it. If you were driving in your car, for instance, okay? Close your eyes, you're in your car. No, close your eyes, you're in the car. But right now, think about it. You're in your car, you're driving, and then all of a sudden, from the back seat, I just pop up and go, ah! You just whack me in the head, wouldn't you? That would be... That wouldn't be nice, but then it wouldn't be nice for me to do that to you. How'd I get in your car anyway? Can you, did you lock the car? Maybe it was your fault. Maybe I'm just teaching you a lesson. But the point is, to see me here as a spokesperson for the universe of energy, I mean, that's crazy, you know. I mean, I'm an expert on a lot of things. You know that, I know that, but uh, not a lot of things, a few things. But energy, I mean, there was a time I could care less about it. And then suddenly everything changed. One day I was sitting in my apartment, I, I said I was sitting in my apartment when, there it is, I'd offer you some snacks, but she, I mean, I can't hear me. Hey, hey, you, how about sharing some of those chips? No, you're on a diet. Me, how about you? Anywho, I'm watching TV and my favorite show is about to start. This is Jeopardy! Yes! I told you it was my favorite show. What is, who is it? And of course, no one locks their doors in New York. Hey, it's your neighbor, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Hey, Bill Nye the Science Guy, it's Ellen, the, uh... Just Ellen, I guess. What can I do you for? I'd like to borrow some aluminum foil, a clothespin, and a candle. Another hot date, huh? Actually, I'm working on a new experiment. Uh, take whatever you need. I don't want to miss any of the game. What are you watching? Jeopardy. Yes. I'm a professor of energy at Princeton University, Dr. Judy Peterson. Oh my gosh! What? It's my old college roommate, Judy Peterson. She was such a smarty pants, know it all. I had the best nickname for her, though. What was that? Stupid Judy. No, well, that makes no sense. She has a PhD. I know, but it made me feel better. So now I guess she's some hotshot energetic professor. She's a professor of energy! Whatever. Who cares about stupid Judy and her stupid energy? Hell, and energy's the most important thing in. The universe! Oh yeah, sure. Take her side. I'm not taking her side. It's just that without energy, nothing would go. Nothing would happen. I mean, there'd be nothing. Well, then we'd really be in jeopardy now, wouldn't we? <clears throat> yeah. Well, what is, uh, thanks for the supplies, and, uh, see you later. What is, bye-bye. Right again. Right again, Judy. U.S. Constitution. Stupid Judy, stupid energy. Maybe the universe needs energy, but I don't. I'll take a nap for a hundred. <laughs> I know. Big piece of corn right there in the teeth. How could you not see? I'm going to have to call you back. <clears throat> now, as most of you know, when someone falls asleep watching TV, that person is going to have a what? Anyone? Anyone? A trick in the neck? Bad hair day. A dream sequence. That's right, ma'am, a dream sequence. Right. Mine was more of a nightmare, actually. And uh, was, actually, we should get some fog in here. Always nice to spice up a dream sequence with fog. No, not in here. Over there. In the dream. Scary, huh? you in the game. Here are the categories for the first round of play. Solar energy, wind power, energy from water, fossil fuels, fusion, and finally, gas. Ellen, since this is your dream, we'll let you make the first selection. Uh, I will take uh, any, 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 uh, fossil fuels for, uh, oh, let's go, 100. Fine. The answer is, this was formed from microscopic plants and animals trapped in ocean floor sediments millions of years ago. Ellen? Yes, I know that one. That's, uh, that, uh, is, uh, what, what is, what is, uh, the stuff trap? Microscopic fuels and 
in, in plants and in animals and... In, in, Sorry, Ellen. We were looking for something more than just an embellishment of what I had already said. Anyone else? Judy? What is petroleum, Alex? What is bituminous? What is solar thermal conversion? What is hydroelectric? What is helium? And so, as we come to the end of the first round, ladies and gentlemen, Judy has a commanding lead. Ellen has her work cut out for her. And Dr. Einstein is nowhere, relatively speaking. Is this a nightmare or what? Oh, Ellen, your first correct response. Wait a minute. Dreams! This is my dream. I'm in control now. I can still win. I still have a chance to. Actually, I came to see Einstein. Wow, you're getting clobbered. Yeah, this Nightmare Jeopardy version's a lot harder than the home version. Can you help me? Sure, but first we have to go back. Back stage? No, no, no. Way back, like many billion years ago. Okay, but can we stop at a mini mart or something to get some snacks? Because I have a tendency to get hungry after a couple million years. No kidding. weird from here. Now some person I don't even know reminds me there's no eating, drinking, smoking, or flash photography allowed in my dream. Yes, and that person would be me. No eating, drinking, smoking, or flash photography in a dream. And no videotaping. Okay? And those of you who are just walking in right now, you're late. Where have you been? I love your hair. No, not you. I mean, it's alright, but that's cute. Yeah. Um, anyway, so you're not completely lost. Here's a recap of what has been going on. I'm Ellen. Hi. I love Jeopardy. I used to not care about energy at all until I had a nightmare that I was on Jeopardy and all the categories were about energy. <laughs> oh, Bill and I know it's scary. So my neighbor, Bill Nye, steps in to help me out. Bill Nye, the science guy. You know him? Anyway, so he comes in to help me out. That's what's going on. Got it? Good. If you don't, then that's your problem because you're late. And you think about that next time. So dark. Because there's nothing to see. Let me get this straight. You brought me back billions of years so you could show me nothing? Sort of, uh, but out of this nothingness, many scientists believe the universe was born. Must have had a big delivery room, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, see that single point of very hot, very dense matter? It contains all the energy of the universe, and it's about to expand at an astonishing rate. <laughs> oh, here. Better put these on. Hearing protectors. Because it's the Big Bang. The Piggy Bang? No, the Big Bang. The Big Bang? The Big Bang. Oh. Now, what you're about to witness took place over billions of years. Give or take uh, a day. Bill, Bill, I, I know I asked you to help me with this energy.
poetry stuff and everything, but I was kind of hoping you'd show me a slideshow. A slideshow? I guess that'd be easier, but <laughs> this is way more fun. Uh, yeah, this is fun. Where's the energy? Oh, it's all around you. See, these plants and animals are soaking up energy from the sun. When they die and get buried, time, pressure, and heat will cook them into the fossil fuels we rely on today. Like uh, coal, natural gas, and oil. Wait a minute, you're telling me that we're filling our gas tanks with, well, with dinosaur soup? Well, not exactly, but dinosaurs did live when fossil fuels were developing in the earth. Dinosaurs are just cool. Let's check them out. Why don't we just skip to the air conditioning and jacuzzi period, huh? No, and it's a chance of a lifetime. It's the chance of a hundred million lifetimes. Come on. You go ahead and make sure it's safe. I'll wait here, okay? You might as well go too. This is my nightmare. No need, you stay in with me.
Now we're exactly where we need to be. All we need now is Alan. Bill, 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 Bill. Oh, Bill, Bill. Alan? Oh, there you are. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, it's not like I don't like getting attacked by a snake-like creature. It's Shh. just... See, we're at the dawn of the human age. And one of our ancestors is about to make an important discovery. One that will spark the progress of civilization. Let's hope it's deodorant. that cheap, but it's getting there. Okay, in the meantime, let's just pick another category. All right. Today, we're using the clean energy of moving air, wind, to generate electricity. Well, then why don't we just get a bunch of wind farmers to harvest a big old crop of wind? We're starting to, where it's windy. But remember, to power a whole city, you need a whole lot of wind. And when the wind stops blowing, we'd be left in the dark, wouldn't we? No way. We just switch to another source of energy. problems are solved. Not quite. We've already used many of the best sites. 
And sometimes building a dam can be pretty hard on an ecosystem. Seems like there are pros and cons to every one of these. What gives? Well, Ellen, there are no easy answers. The sun, water, geothermal steam, even wood all contribute. Right now, these renewables provide about 10% of the world's energy. But we can expect them to be playing an even bigger role in the decades ahead. That's great, Bill, but we still need a heck of a lot more energy. Where is it coming from? And do you have a curling iron? Come on, I'll show you. Fuel. Oh, I know this one. What is coal? Correct. And we've discovered two centuries worth. Whoa. What about global warming? It's a hot topic with lots of questions. But it's one of the big reasons scientists are working on ways to burn fuels like coal more efficiently than ever. Ellen, what do you know about gas? Well, if your stomach's bothering you, I could get you some club soda. No. Oh, you mean natural gas. It's clean burning. At the rate we're going, we're set for about 60 years. 60 years? That's only 10 more years than 50. 20 more than 40. 30 more don't, than... Uh, don't worry. We're always finding more natural gas all the time. <laughs> but we do need to use it wisely. So, Ellen, how long have you been driving? <laughs> Alrighty, what's next? Oh, oh, what is black gold, Texas tea, swimming pools, movie stars? What is the Beverly Hillbillies? I, I mean, what is oil? Right, it's our main source of energy, and we found enough to last at least 50 years. That's all? We're far from running on empty. We've got some pretty far out ways of finding more. Satellites are one of the tools we use in our search for hidden deposits, but there are others. Really? You know... Uh, uh, Houston, I think we have a problem. That's because many of the easily reached petroleum deposits have already been tapped. Most new discoveries will come from ones inaccessible or hard to reach places. Wait just a minute, there's oil here? Actually, the oil is buried way deep under the ocean floor. Oh, well, then I guess we can't get to it. So, where to next? Oh, hey, don't give up. We can reach the oil with offshore drilling platforms like this. We're going in. Dive! Oh. Dive! Oh. Dive! Oh. Some drilling platforms are so tall, they would tower over the Empire State Building. I mean... Alex, I will take dinosaurs. 
dinosaurs for 800? Uh, Ellen, you do know that the more expensive the question, the harder it is. Oh, no, I didn't. Let me rethink that then. Uh, dinosaurs for 1,000, Alex. Okay, the answer is, this is when scientists believe dinosaurs first appeared on the Earth. Ellen. Uh, what is 220 million years ago, give or take a day? You're absolutely right. What is the sun? What is hydrogen, Alex? What are photovoltaics? What is fire? Which, by the way, is what sparked the progress of human civilization. Alex, I don't know if you knew that or not. Correct again, and amazingly enough, at the end of this double jeopardy round, you have managed to come from way behind to tie Judy for the lead. Well done. Well, I just had to figure out how to work this little clicky thing here. She had possibly learned so much during the commercial break. She's obviously cheating. Send it, Judy. Dr. Einstein. You have no money, sir. And that means we're going to have to say goodbye. However, we want to thank you for coming here today. We do have some lovely party gifts for you backstage. Yes, here's the party gift for you right now, Al. It's a long-lasting, low-energy light bulb. Enjoy the efficiency. Boy, there goes a real bundle of energy, huh? All right, ladies. You will recall that our final Jeopardy! category on today's program is the future of energy. And so if you're ready, here is the final Jeopardy! answer for you. This is the one source of power that will never run out. Good luck. because there is no answer. Well, actually, you're wrong. Let's take a look at your wager. Oh, that's too bad. You risk everything you had, and that means you lose $17,800, and you wind up with nothing. Let's go down to Ellen now and see what she came up with as a response to our final Jeopardy clue. Ellen? Uh, what is brain power, Alex? You are correct. And your wager? You, too, risk everything, but you doubled your score to 35600 and that makes you, Ellen, our new Jeopardy! champion. Congratulations! Be sure to tune in tomorrow as Jeopardy! 363 continues. So that's how I became an energy expert. Again, expert may not be the exact right word, more expert-ish. Anyway, I've got to go, look out for the dinosaur! <laughs> Kidding, I'm a kidder. Bye-bye now.